Joe Ramirez uh, came to Europe with the Rodriguez brothers from Mexico as a mechanic. And tell me, where did you start in your motor racing career in, in Europe? Well, I started in 1962 in the Targa Florio with Ricardo Rodriguez. He was driving with Gen de Vienne and Phil Hill and uh, Maurice, uh, no, uh, forgot the name. Yeah. Anyway, this was my first job, but then I moved into uh, north of Italy in Modena, where I got my first kind of paying job with Maserati, yes. with recommendation from Fangio. Yeah. And then after Maserati, I moved into England because, of course, the, the center of uh, motor racing was in Italy, but then with Colin Chapman, he kind of moved into England, yes. so you have to go to England. So I moved to England, and then I started working with Ford Advanced Vehicles with John yes. Guar. And later I went up with uh, Dan Gurney yes. in his Formula One car. But in you, were bet, you were better known with your, for your time with McLaren, and that was Absolutely, when you yes. were involved then, with the Ayrton Senna. Yes. Then after, um, after Gurney, I've, I've been to a, a few small teams. Yes. Um, first as a mechanic and then as a team manager and end up uh, as a team coordinator at McLaren in yes. 1984. But, but then uh, you retired from all of that and you have a great interest in the history of cars. Where did that uh, start? Absolutely. Well, I guess the, having been started my career a long time ago with old cars. The old cars were still part of my life, uh, especially the 1962 Ferraris. And I, now I have one of them, which is, it was my dream car. And it yes. was uh, fantastic uh, that I was able to get to, to buy, to, to own one of those cars. And of course, after that, I had a Jaguar and, and another Ferrari, old cars. And the Jaguar is 59, the other Ferrari is 1981. And obviously, that uh, passion for the classic car yes. started, I guess, in yeah. my youth. Yeah. And but tell me, um, why is it important that we should be interested in the preservation and the protection of these cars? Because it's part of the history, and I think uh, I can't believe me driving cars with no driver, like it's going to be the future, you know. I think. Uh, to drive a car, and an old car, which is noisy, it's a uh, rough movement, it's hot inside, I think it's part of the, of the history and, and we all love that because every one of us that have a collection or, or that uh, race or rally old cars, it's, it's much better. You, you are more uh, in touch with the real automobile. You haven't got so many gizmos and electronics like you have nowadays. I mean, if I had a problem with the Ferrari, I fixed it myself. If I had a new Ferrari, I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah. Open the bonnet and it's all kind of mystery. So mm -hmm. it is kind of um, something very special and very difficult to put into yes. words. but. Uh, Classic cars, it's uh, hope that uh, the new governments and the new rules would allow to keep using our cars in the yes. road, even so they're not so eco-friendly and so on, but uh, it's part of history and we, we must conserve it. Yeah. Would you say that, the social, that it is an important part of the social history of human beings to have protect cars like that so that generations in the future can not only see them but see them driving about oh indeed i think uh, i mean it's some of those cars like the one i have i'd rather have that car than a um, picasso in the wall it seems it's much nicer and i think uh, i said um, we said it before it's part of history that we must conserve we must keep the old cars alive um, and there are a lot of people that still make uh, um, spares for these cars, yes. which they, they are new, the spares, the cars yes. are old, in order to keep um, conserving them. And I, and I hope that will keep on for many, many years to come. Thank you. Joe Ramirez, uh, one of the best known and most famous uh, organizers within motor racing, uh, clearly is also a protectionist for the cars of the past so that they are kept running for the future.